So the response of spirit to ritual depends on the quality and the quantity. So when you start your ritual journey, many of you want to start from the top, so you are not able to achieve anything. You heard about morning devotion, evening devotion, worship, fasting. You are supposed to start small, 30 minutes in the morning. And after some weeks, you are able to increase it to 45 minutes. And after some time, one hour, after some time, three hours. But some of you want to start at seven hours per day. You must be joking, you will never achieve anything. For you to do that, you need to rise to that level. Psalm 37 verse 11, but the meek shall inherit the earth. The Lord lifted up the meek, Psalm 147 verse 6. Put on therefore as the elect of God, Colossians 3 12. One of the things you must wear in the spirit realm, bowels of mercy, holiness, kindness, humbleness of mind and meekness of the spirit. So among them all, these two factors, they are bedrock to many other factors in the realm of the spirit. So what is meekness? Meekness of heart is a heart that receives nothing less than the perfect will of God on all matters. In all his way, he acknowledged God and God is the one that directs his life. And Jesus gave us this code. When he prays, say, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus had an option to quit the will of God at Gethsemane. But he chose to do it. I was humorously telling one of my daughters the other day that God would have found a place in the scripture and said the first Messiah declined. He refused to die. So I sent another Messiah. <laughs> Jesus chose it. Jesus chose it. He had option. I've taught you before the faith of Jesus Christ. So humility is being under subjection to do that perfect will of God that you have sought for. Jeremiah 17 verse 10, Hide the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Do you see what God said? Hide the Lord, I search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to his, the fruit of his doings. Proverbs 20 verse 27, The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 For what man knoweth the things of man save the spirit of man which is in him Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God what, Why do I bring you here? The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord God will use your innermost being to reveal you to you Your subconscious mind So God is forever searching the heart Not because he doesn't know the heart But he wants to prove you to you before he can certify you untrustworthy or trustworthy, God is looking to define you through your heart. Because nothing else defines you than your heart. And it is the thoughts of your heart that defines you. Genesis 6, 5. I, I love quoting these. The thoughts, the imagination of the thoughts of the heart is continually evil before God. God will not define you by your makeup. God will not define you by anything else because everything you do physically is coming from within. If as a woman with your big body, you still like to show your cleavage, it is not the pro the problem is not the cleavage, the problem is the heart. At your age and status, the problem is not what you do physically, the root of the problem is the problem, which is in the heart. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? If you understood, say amen. You want to wear miniskirt. The miniskirt is not a problem, it's the heart. From the heart proceed all evil. As a man thinks, imagines, whatever is in the heart will be seen in physical manifestation. Meekness and humility, above all else, are the greatest revelation of your heart before the Lord. And me, I want a husband who, Lord, I want to marry. Lord, send the man, marry me, marry me, marry me. The question is, are you prudent? God, I need a good husband, handsome dude, tall, black. Okay, good. Are you qualified? What's your heart? You will get the man that your heart status qualifies before God, period. Whether the one that beat you left, right, and center. You know, we've had very fantastic sisters in the, when we were in the college, and they end up marrying a fool. And I used to ask them, how can a wise woman like Abigail end up with a foolish man like Laba? It's the same problem today with many so-called over-spiritual sisters. Because deep inside their heart is the, is the kind of man they ended up with. There is something in their heart that made them to end up with that kind of a man. I know I'm pinching somebody. Yes, it's okay. If, if it affects you, repent. Praise God. God will never take your word for it. Say with me, somebody. Let me see a very good place to, to close for tonight so that we can have interaction. 
God will never take your word for it. Say with me, God will not take my word for it. God will not take my word for it. Psalm 139 verse 23. Search me, O God, and know my heart. These are the real men. David is the one talking here. Try me and know my thoughts. <laughs> Listen to the revelation of King David to Solomon. 1 Chronicles 28 verse 9. And thou, Solomon, my son, I've worked with this God all my life. I started as a young lad. He chose me because of my heart. Hmm. Let me show you the secret of God. Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the law searches all heart. Listen carefully. Let me say this before I continue. God does not search your heart yesterday and certify you yesterday and end there. God continually search your heart from time to time, day to day, hour to hour. God does not trust man. God does not trust angels. God does not trust anyone. He can only trust you per second, per millisecond, as long as your heart is right. For the Lord searches all heart, all, and understandeth all the imagination of the thought. He understands all the imaginations of the thought. Whatever you are imagining that nobody can see, God understands them. If thou seek him, he will be found of you. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Psalm 44 verse 21. Shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secret of the heart. You see that he knows. But the reason why he's subjecting you to challenges and situations and circumstances is to prove your heart to you. They come to your office and drop bill of dollars on the table. They ask you to change your figures and they say, name your price. And your heart began to shake. Your heart began to shake. All the things you need money for began to flash before you. It shows that that has always been in your heart. 